What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. A film about first love with the hero Vince Tiffin and Sydney Park as the protagonists? Yes, please. Here are all details we know so far about the very anticipated project. Who is Sydney Park? Before we jump into details about the most recent project that will presumably come after the premiere of the last part of the After franchise, we need to find out more about this amazingly talented actress. Sydney Park was born in Philadelphia, but she moved to Los Angeles, California, presumably to pursue the Hollywood dream. She has an African American mother with a Korean American father. Recently, she admitted it was really difficult for her to deal with the various obstacle BIPOC actors deal with when pursuing their acting dreams. The acronym stands for Black, Indigenous, and People of Color. Thankfully, her talents are more than evident, and the actress already has many successful roles under her belt. The 24-year-old actress' first passion was comedy. I grew up doing sketch comedy and improv and stand-up, whether I was in school or on stage, so comedy for me is easy and effortless and really just fun," she said in an interview with Black Girl Nerds. Here's our favorite thing about the actress. She was born on Halloween. As she explained, being born on Halloween is one of the reasons she was always fascinated with horror and scary movies. She starred in her first horror film, Wish Upon, in 2017. However, she became really famous when she appeared on America's Got Talent as Sid the Kid. Then she got cast in The Walking Dead and Moxie. But one of her fans' favorite roles of Sydney is, without a doubt, the one in the Pretty Little Liars spin-off. Now that the entire film industry has seen how talented she is, there are plenty of films and TV shows the actress is working on, meaning that she has a rather busy schedule. She got cast in Netflix's new horror movie, There's Someone in Your House. But it seems like the priority film on her list of projects for now is First Love, where she's set to act alongside the one and only Hero Fins Tiffin. Oh, and for those of you wondering if the actress is single, it looks like she is. Before we continue, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done it already. Who is Hero Fins Tiffin? Do you want to do this? Hero Fence Tiffin is currently one of the rising stars in Hollywood. The actor has millions and millions of fans thanks to the starring role as Hardin Scott in the hit franchise After. For those of you not familiar, the After franchise is based on novels of the same name by Anna Todd. The entire franchise is about Hero's character, Hardin Scott, and his love interest, Tessa Young, a character portrayed by Josephine Langford. It follows the two of them in a rocky, messed up relationship with plenty of family issues, alcohol addiction, and toxic masculinity. Oh, did we mention that the franchise features an hour and a half of steamy scenes between the couple? Yeah, that's one of the many reasons fans adore after. Anyway, the first film of the franchise took the world by storm. And as you know, once a film becomes really successful, a sequel is guaranteed. Well, not only was After greenlighted for a second part, but it also received two more films, with the last one expected to be released in 2022. More precisely, you'll be able to stream the final part of the franchise on August 24. Anyway, let's talk about Hero, shall we? Did you know that he's been in the acting industry ever since 2007? Yes, this is surprising to a lot of fans because most of them believe Hero's first role was in the popular franchise. Well, that's obviously not true because Tiffin starred as young Tom Riddle in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince way back 2009. Here's a photo of an adorable hero in the film. But it took a long, long time until Finn's got his breakthrough role. You see, Finn's Tiffin is the nephew of actor Ralph Finn and Joseph Fiennes. Fans might recognize Ralph for his role as Voldemort in Harry Potter, and Joseph is mostly known thanks to his role as Commander Fred Waterford in The Handmaid's Tale, although his character lost his life in the latest season. 
Anyway, Hiro almost never mentions his family in interviews, and that's because he wants to establish a career without the help from his already famous family members, which is also the case with Josephine Langford as she didn't want to get famous only because she's the sister of 13 Reasons Why star Catherine Langford. Anyway, Tiffin also appeared in the film Private Peaceful and TV shows such as Safe and Cleaning Up. We know there are lots of you eager to find out more about Hiro's dating life, so here it is. It appears as if the actor is not dating anyone publicly right now. If he's dating someone, he's really good at hiding his loved one. In an interview with Elle in 2019, Hiro said that he never had, like, a proper relationship. I haven't had a girl I would call my girlfriend, but it's been three years since then, so things might have changed for the young actor. Now, let's get into everything we know about Sydney and Hiro's first love. Release date According to Deadline, the film these two amazingly talented actors will star in is written by A.G. Edwards. Edwards has previously worked on Age Out Writer, To the Wonder Editor, and The Better Angels Writer. Diane Kruger and Jeffrey Donovan have also got cast in the film. The synopsis for the film has already been released, and based on it, the plot will follow a young man called Jim, played by Hero, who struggles with his entrance into adulthood. Jim will also be dealing with his first love, Anne, played by Sydney. Diane and Jeffrey will play Jim's parents, who are dealing with the familial fallout spurred by the financial crisis of 2008. This clearly means that the film will be set in the 2010s. So far, so good, right? In an interview with Deadline, the producer of the film, Nadine DeBarros, said that she's thrilled that Fortitude is not only backing AJ's poignant and insightful version of love and the American family, but also to be working with such an international ensemble of great talent. Shortly after the fans discovered the upcoming project, Sydney wrote, I can't wait for you guys to see this one on her Instagram account. The film is set to be released in 2022, but a precise release date is not known yet, although we do know that filming has officially wrapped up, thanks to an Instagram story of Sydney. Our guess is that we'll see the film sometime at the end of the year. Now, let's talk about this adorable footage of Sydney receiving a gift from Hero. In it, you can see the two co-stars embracing in a hug. We did it, Hero says. That's a wrap, he adds. To which Sydney responds, First love, bitch. Is there a chance that this film could be more famous than the After franchise? We believe so. George Callis to work on First Love George Callis, mostly known for Cliffs of Freedom, After We Fell, The Black Prince, and The Last Warrior, has been assigned to score the romantic drama First Love. We have to admit that the film includes such an amazing cast ensemble. Did we mention that Aurelia Michael, Elena Jose, Nanrisa Lee, Bruce Wexler and Harrison Cohn are also set to appear in the project. With so much talent, such a great behind-the-camera crew, and a score by George Callis, First Love lives on high expectations. Edwards is producing the film with Henry Kittredge, Lucas Jarak, and Nadine DeBarros. Maybe First Love will come sooner than expected, and we'll finally see it this summer. At least, that's what we all hope for. Callis is also working on the music for the fourth and final film of the After series, After Ever Happy, directed by Castile Landon. It seems like 2022 is a busy year for Hero, and we really can't wait to see him in a different role other than Harden. On a related note, what are your hopes for the upcoming film? What do you guys think of the casting? Are Hero and Sydney a good fit for the assigned roles? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.